crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner and a little Monday night crafting. Um, this is, blah, what day is it? <laughs> that was super attractive. I know you wish you could have made your face look like that too. Um, let me see. Hold on. I got to refresh my computer. All right. I will be organized. I promise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, really. I am. Okay. Today is Monday, March 15th. So if you're watching this video, March 15th, 2021, hello and welcome. Um, say hi if you're on Facebook. I would love that. Um, if you're watching it later, totally fine. The tutorial of the card, the little free class part, um, is, is great anytime you find it, even if it's like two years from now. Um, so you may need to fast forward um, if you do find this much later than March 2021. Um, okay. So I'm Audra, the Crafty Yogi. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. So if you need paper crafting supplies, you should contact me. Okay, um, we're just gonna jump in because I wanna go over um, what's going on right now and uh, current class offerings. And then we are gonna do this tutorial on this super cute, look at this super cute little stand-up um, tower card. I, I'm trying to share on these Monday nights um, fun folds or boxes or something you know, something a little interesting, and I definitely have it planned, which is new for me to have a plan. <laughs> so, hey Kathleen, welcome. So let me throw you down here. So if you know all this part, um, if you're a demonstrator, this part, well, although it could give you ideas for your business, so that works too. Um, and if it's much later than March uh, 2021, you know, fast forward. So anyhow, Butterfly Bouquet um, is available for ordering if you wanna get the bundle of the stamp and the dies. And our limited edition paper, this paper, guys, I'm using it all the time because it's so beautiful. The Butterfly Bijou paper and the Natural Touch specialty paper are available right now while supplies last. Okay, if you need more information about that, you can find it on my website, audramonk.stampinup.net, or you can message me and I am happy to help. Um, next, what is next? Oh, tomorrow I commence making the uh, spring banner kits. I have one, this is a one, only one, one left. Um, so if you want it, you gotta let me know and, and get your payment in. And they will go in the mail either Friday or Saturday or be ready for pickup Friday or Saturday. I aim for Friday, but every once in a while, it takes me a little longer. So you would get the chipboard pieces, the string, you will get all of the paper die cut and ready. Um, and then there will be a video to show you how to put it together. The only thing you really need is adhesive and if you want to, um, for the little punch art, if you want to sponge the edges, you would need that. Okay, so one left. And then next week, uh, the RSVP date is by Monday. And this I have to know because I don't cut the paper on Tuesday for you unless I know that you've already paid and ordered. Just cards to go kit. Well, you'll get the supplies to make two, two of each. Sometimes the paper will vary. Like on this, you might get a, a oh, and look, you get a wobble, two wobbles. So you'll get the supplies to make two of each, but like your butterflies might be two different ones. Um, but that's not a big deal. Uh, your paper here might be slightly different colors, but it will all coordinate and match. But this class you have to RSVP by next Monday night. It's $22 if you're picking up and $25 if I'm mailing it. And I'm actually giving you a discount on the mailing. All right. So there is that. There is that. Okay. Now... Oh, I know. I'm like, where's my card? It's in this envelope. I want to show you. So I was looking around for a fun fold card and I saw this one and I had not made this before. Um, hold on. I wrote down her name. Julie Davidson. Um, she's a Stampin' Up! demo. I don't remember where she's from, but she may, found a bigger version and then she made it to a smaller size, which is what I tend to do. If I find a project, sometimes I tweak the size. And you guys are going to laugh. I like to case but it is very, very rare that I like case almost exactly. If you go find her blog or whatever, you're gonna be like, Audra, you copied her card exactly. And I'm gonna be like, yes, I did. Because I like the colors. Um, I think her butterflies were the same color. Um, she did a different saying, she put it on black. It was a different smaller one. I added these. But in general, the misty moonlight is the same. The paper, I just liked, isn't that pretty? So it has these fun little foldy bits and it stands up. So I think it's super fun. Like, so a Mother's Day card where they want to put it on the mantle or a special birthday or just because, um, 
I think it's a really cute card. And then it folds in flat and you can put it in your envelope. So I think that's kind of cool. Hi, Amy. So I made this one first where I copied it. And then I thought this would be fun to send to my grad school daughter because grad school is apparently very, very stressful. And I thought, well, what can I make? Um, and this is that, um, I don't know, that cactus product suite. And this one, again, it'll fold small and go in the envelope. Um, but I thought this was kind of cute. And in case you didn't know, I don't think I was, I knew this for certain, but um, the DSP to this has the thing where you can um, cut out the cactuses. So if you were doing a not a uh, to-go class, because you know we can't send stamped images, you could um, send them this and they could either fussy cut it or you could die cut it. I don't know if a machine can do it or not because of the colors, but anyway, it cuts those out. The dies do. So I made this one. Life can get kind of prickly. I thought that was really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, if you have your paper, you might want to make it right along with me. Um, although there is always the chance that I'm going to mess something up. In fact, on this one, yeah, you can tell a little bit. My my cuts are not even. This side got, it was too narrow. I don't know what happened. And look, this side is too narrow. This one is perfect at the bottom. So who knows what's going to happen. So you can follow along or you can watch the video and then uh, do it afterwards. So, I like when I have an intention of who I'm gonna make the card for. We are gonna make my sister-in-law a beachy card. She lives down at the beach and her birthday's coming up at the end of the month. So I already went ahead and made um, my three little things here and I've got her phrase, so that part's ready. And my paper is cut out, my little bits, okay. So that's all the icing at the end. Um, but what you're gonna wanna learn is how to do the card. So you need a trimmer like this. You need a kind, I mean, I'd love you to buy a Stampin' Up! one, but if you don't have one, you need it where you can put in the cut somewhere not only at the top or only at the bottom. You need to have where, because we're gonna put it in at the one inch, and then we're gonna go to the three inch, and we're gonna do that a couple times. So you need to have one um, that can do that. All right, now, did I, oh, I did write it down, okay. I've got words here on the post-it note to help us out. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Amy. I think I said hi, Amy, but if not, hello. <laughs> so you need a piece of paper, half a cardstock, but you need it to be five and a half by eight and a quarter. So see how this one is slightly smaller? It's eight and a quarter. This one is in case I mess up and I have to do another one. It could happen. Okay, so first up, we're going to score. So get rid of that uh, cutting plate and get your scoring one. How is the light? Let's see, can I make it better? I don't know, I can never, all right, it's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna score the long side at one inch and two inch, and then we're gonna flip it around and do the same. I like ones like this, because the math is easy. So at one inch, and then at two inches. Okay, so we're scoring the long side. You'll have to tell me if you've seen this card before. I hadn't seen it. I thought it was kind of cool. And then we're going to flip it around. And we are going to score it oh, just for fun. Just for fun. Oh, don't put that. Score it at two inches. And one inch. So it doesn't really matter. Oops, I'm getting caught on things here. One inch and two inch. Okay. And then, now here's the fancy part. You're gonna turn it to the short side, and then at one and two, and then three and a half and four and a half, we're gonna do this same thing with the cutter. So now we want the cutting one. So we're gonna put it at one, and now we're gonna put this in at one. It's hard with the camera, so hopefully. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut from one to three, and there are numbers on the side to tell me where to stop. But I do have to look at them and I'm gonna line that up to three. Okay, then I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna slide my paper to two inches. And then it should, if I don't move too much, it's at three. And now I'm gonna to cut to the one. And the good thing to know is I already showed you one. If you don't get it perfectly, it still kind of works. Ooh! I got them perfectly. That's exciting. Okay, let's not jinx it. Knock on wood. My desk is actually wood. I'm going to knock on it. All right. Now I'm going to slide it to three and a half. Put 
put that in at one and take it to the three. And then I'm going to go to four and a half. Okay, put that the three, put it in, and take it to the one. And then I'm going to take it out and flip it over and do it again. Okay, so we're going to do it again. So the version she saw of this, there's one where they have more cuts, like a lot more cuts. And then she came up with this more simple version. And I actually like this a lot better. So that's why we're making this one. But if you want one with a lot of thin cuts, you can go check out, what is her name? I said it. Let me see. Julie Davidson. You could go and find her card. And she, she although the video I saw, she did this one. But I, she must maybe have another video that does the other one. That was at one inch. Okay, let's go to two inches. And I'm at the three. Go to the one. I mean, who thinks of this stuff? You know, you ever wonder that? I'm a good um, learner or a copier or whatever, but I don't know who thinks of these things. I think it's pretty amazing. Okay, then I'm at three and a half, and I'm just saying it out loud and repeating it, so I hopefully don't mess it up because I'm doing pretty good, I think. And I go one to three, and then one more cut, go to four and a half. Okay, now we're not done. There's one last thing we have to do. One last thing we got to do is we need to score these little ends. So you could put them in here. What is that at? Uh, it's at like five and a quarter. And you could either use the scoring thing or you could take a bone folder and put it in there but I feel like I'm not coordinated enough that's what she did she took her bone folder and she put it there and she went in the little groove but I'm gonna come here at the end and just score them and I think you just score the little bits I can't remember now because I mean you I only made one like a couple hours ago okay that looks all right and then we're gonna put it this way and we're gonna do the same thing so it goes to five and a quarter is kind of the end and then you're going to put it down at the one and just go one to the two. And then what is this? This is three and a half to four and a half. All right. We are in business, my friends, I think. We are in business. Okay. So I think we won't need this anymore. But we'll keep it close by just in case. All right. So then you get this cool. Yeah. Oh, good. You can see the lines. So you get this cool little grid pattern. And so now we're going to burnish all of our, our little bits. Our little bits are we're gonna burnish all of our lines and I will definitely <laughs> put this here I'll put this here um, where can I see it where can you see it okay there we go all right because I have to play with which line goes where and everything because it definitely throws your mind for a little bit of interesting work okay and that looks good oh I did it right oh that's even more exciting earlier I was like which way does it go so I think this is a fun one for a, um, did I do that? Okay. For definitely one you want to stand up. Like if it was a big birthday or anniversary or you know the person you're sending it to likes to stand the cards up and keep them there, I think that's really fun. Okay. And then this one we'll get when we, um, when we put it together. Okay. So let's see if I can do it. So what this one, those go down. Those go down. Oh, good. My score lines worked out perfectly. Down and down. Okay, and so then this is our card when it's in the envelope. See? I did it! Yay! <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm telling you, I can make it like three or four times, and then I go to teach you guys on a video, and it all goes to crazy town. Okay, so there is our cute. Look at that. Isn't that the neatest thing? I mean, that's so cool. Um, oh, and I forgot on, you can put a piece to write on on the back. And no, I'd, I'll measure that in a second. I did not cut that piece. Okay, so then, where's, here's my little pile of beachy paper. All right, so, okay, let's do these first. So what you need on the measurements that I posted earlier, and I will put them later tonight or in the morning in the description of the video. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Amy. I know the, the thrill. You need two pieces 
that are three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Those are the side pieces. And then you need two pieces that are three and a quarter by four, and those are the top and the bottom pieces. See? And then this can be DSP or cardstock, and it is three by three. And then you need, and this also could be cardstock or DSP, and it's two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And so you get that. Ta da! Okay, so if you're done with the card, off you go, go make your card. Um, I'm gonna decorate it up, and then we're gonna play with this part, the panel. But let's just put the easy stuff on first. All right, I got some seal here. Here we go. And this is small. I'm just gonna do one strip, okay? And then you're gonna put it on there. So my card base is Sahara Sand. And, okay, did I get it on there? All right, <laughs> that's where it's going. I just thought that this would be really pretty. And so I'm gonna send it. I got a lot of beach loving friends, but my sister-in-law um, lives down in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is where we went. So we saw her this weekend. My mother-in-law has been vaccinated. And so, and my sister-in-law has, cause she works at a funeral home. Um, although her boyfriend hasn't. So um, we did stay outside um, with her and her boyfriend. Um, but we saw my mother-in-law. We haven't seen her in over a year. So, we drove down with the dog. If you saw my cute dog picture, she has a really nice neighborhood for walking. Although I will, ah, can I get that on straight? I will say it's very flat there that my little, um, Apple watch, I got tons of steps. Um, <laughs> because of course I didn't have my Peloton to ride, but, um, and then it would say zero floors, zero floors. Um, cause she lives in a one story house and it's very flat there. So I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, and that goes on. All right, let's fold it in, squish it down. Okay, now I'm gonna, before I put this on, I'm gonna get out my Sahara sand and I'm gonna stamp a little bit of sand on here. Cause I'm gonna put my little seashells and I'm not even sure how they're gonna go. And I'm actually gonna give you a very quick tutorial on using your blender pen. I'm pretty sure I've done one semi recently but since that's what I did I thought you know it won't hurt me to share real quick okay so there's a little sand all right so although I don't have the dies over here so whatever I make I'm not gonna be able to cut out um, so if you look at these up close I use the um, let's see if you can see it I used our glimmer paper which is great for watercolor you could do this on plain white or plain vanilla because it's small what we're doing it's not uh, that big of a work okay so what you do let's just do this because it's really tiny so our blender pens look like this and they're called blender pens and they have little tips it's okay if they get stained it has some kind of liquid I don't know what it is but what you want to do is you want to Make sure it's clean. Now, if it's a brand new one straight out of the box, you're okay. Um, this little seashell, I stamped it in Calypso Coral. And you'll see this is so, this is like a super fast way to color. I like lots of different ways to color, but this one is super, super fast. And I thought for a beachy scene, it looked really pretty. And so then you just take the ink and you spread the ink. Look at that. That took like not even a minute 30 seconds maybe and look at that cute little wait a minute I'm too close seashell super easy to color that way so in case you haven't done that that is a very economical way to stretch your uh, your ink and things all right so now I've got this piece what's on the back now I like this okay so I'm gonna put this on and then I am gonna fancy this one up a little bit more because I think my sister-in-law will like it. So you can keep it really simple. Just put a couple flowers, put something on there. You know, do whatever works uh, for you. Okay, and then I'm going. Now I could have, I'm pretty sure I could have stamped the greeting on there right on it, like this one. See that? You could just stamp it right on there. Uh, this one I did white on white and put a little strip and I got fancy on this one because this is my 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 love my calling is stamping it on black and embossing it so Versamark white embossing powder so let's cut one of these off 
I just went ahead since I was going to do one. I was like, I'll do a second one and have it here on my desk. Because sometimes when I'm making a card, it's nice to just have an extra. It only takes an extra second to make one more. Okay, so I only have these three things. So let's hope. And where is that? Ooh. In the cactus uh, product suite, there is Calypso Coral uh, Baker Schwine. So I thought we would use that. And I also got out the little, whatever the little gem embellishments are that go with this. So I was thinking, wrap it around and I'm gonna tie it in a bow up there maybe, and then put this on here. Oh, but you can't see them. Ah, what if I put it this way? All right, I got it, I got it. Now these I'm gonna keep flat because remember it's already gonna, um, we're gonna put it on on dimensionals. Although I do think it will mail just fine. Like I showed you it in the um, envelope. So I'm going to use um, blue dots. And then, <laughs> see you're getting all these extra information about the um, cactus product suite. So if you get that, because I haven't really used it too much. And I relearned a couple things today. I relearned, because I think I remember when I um, did an unboxing of it, you have to attach this with liquid glue. Glue dots won't stick. I learned that. The dies will cut out the DSP. And then I also learned that it comes with this beautiful Clips of Coral Baker's Twine. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And then this one's big. And then that one is. Push up. Well, I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that on. So it's always good to just test it out like that. Test it out and see how it goes. Blue dots. Get like three on there. Ooh, try not to crinkle them. Okay. Let's see this. I wanted to put that twine on. I think I'm going to put this. I think it's just going to peek out there. Okay, and then the twine, you know what? The twine should go under that starfish. No, it's not a starfish. The blue thing is a starfish. This is a sand dollar. Okay, so normally I would say, hey, put your twine on first. But even though it's planned, like the card was planned, I didn't have the whole design planned. It was just mental. All right, let's hope I got enough. And let's hope I can even that out. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't pull it so hard. Look at that. I Oh, because you know what? It's DSP. I was a little too vigorous in my pulling. But it's okay. It's the beach. No one will know. All right. Oh, and then you guys are going to laugh. I meant to take a picture and, and, and share it. So we went and sat on Carolina Beach on Friday. It was a beautiful day, but it was really windy. So I'm telling you, I'm wearing a light sweatshirt. I'm wearing like, you know those jeans that you can like roll up the bottoms just a little. So not like skinny, skinny jeans, but a little bit. I, I've got a hat on, um, fully covered. Oh, I did put the picture of the headstand, right? I was goofing around, so I thought you guys would think that was funny. Um, but anyway, I burnt my ankles and my feet. Can you believe that? The only part of me that was in the sun, I totally forgot to put sunscreen on because it was cold-ish. And I burnt my ankle and my foot. I was like, man. Okay, now this is gonna go on with dimensionals. Yay, I'm so glad some friends are here. All right, so now remember, which, oh, somebody, I did see someone posted a box. I didn't have time to look at it from last week's class. So tomorrow morning, I will post a picture of this project and I will say, oh, you know, thanks for joining me in my blah, blah class and, um, want to know more go check out the video and then it'll say if you make the project post it here and you should post it there because who knows I might occasionally do like a little drawing and send you like a little card kit or a little surprise or something um, but if you're making these it would be really fun and it's okay if it takes you a week to make them you know who knows you know what that one needs it needs a dimensional see this is what I get I can't decide Anyhow, we've almost got it together. All right. All right, I'm going to go with that. 
And that bow is not, I'm not going to win an award on that bow, but I'm going to leave it. Okay, let's put this on. So this is the last part you need to know. So this goes on here. Oh, that's really cute. That is super cute. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to put it on with dimensionals, or you could do a snail or seal or whatever, glue dots. But um, don't put it on the corners because see how there's nothing on the corner. So you got to put them in some. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on there and trust that it will go through the mail okay. Although maybe I'll put one of those hand cancel. I have some of those hand cancel stamps. They're like 70 two cents I don't know maybe they went up but you can buy them at the post office and then if you put them on they're supposed to hand cancel your uh, letter and then it would arrive safely and that goes there okay and then I've got these you guys I'm really loving these opal rounds they just add a little sparkle to like everything so I'm gonna put because they kind of ooh, I want it closer ah, not so close they kind of look like little seashells, don't you think, in this picture? I'm going to put a little one. There we go. And I'm going to squish it so it'll, so I can push them down. And there is our cute little card. Look at that. And so it would stand up. I think that'd be really fun. You could stand it up on your shelf or your mantle or your countertop. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Patricia, it's not really that hard. Um, and there we go. Let me show them all to you. So, one, two, three. Look at that. They're really kind of fun. And they actually look really, you're going to laugh, they look like picnic tables like this. Like we should all be gathering up and having a picnic outside. So there is, so I'm calling it a standing tower card. I'm pretty sure that Julie Davidson called it a tower card and she found it somewhere else and she just tweaked the sizes. Um, I went with her sizing because I really liked this style. Um, so all my measurements are the same as hers and I will post them um, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, if you, and then tomorrow I'll post a picture. I'll post a picture of the beachy one um, and I'll say if you make one, comment here. Which, Patricia, you're the one who made the box, I think. I saw someone's box, but I didn't have time to look at it because um, I was busy getting set up. But I did see the post. Um, so, yeah, I'd love it if you make one and you share it. Um, and there we go. So if you came in late, um, the beginning of the video, I go over um, this month's classes. I have one bunny banner left. I'm going to start. Uh, well, i got to teach yoga in the morning. I have a meeting with the yoga studio. But then tomorrow afternoon, it's go, 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 Audra. <laughs> and start die cutting and getting the bunny banners ready. So hopefully they'll go out Friday or Saturday. The Just Cards you have until next Monday to pay. Um, the Just Cards to go kit. Um, and that will go out the next Friday or Saturday. Um, I am definitely working on stuff for April. Um, I don't know. Like sometimes I have tons of ideas and sometimes I have too many ideas and nothing formulates. So I am going to work on that. <laughs> thank you, Carlin. Yes, so thank you guys for joining me for this little mini class. Um, I will come up with something fun for next Monday night. Um, but I am planning to do um, a live on Wednesday morning at 10 and then Friday at 5. And we'll see what those are. Those are a little bit more ad hoc. I'll just play with... Um, you know what? I'll do a vote for which stamp set I should explore because I've got a couple left that I haven't inked up. And so um, I'll let you guys vote. And then for Friday, that's what I'll do. Wednesday, you get whatever I get because I'm going to be, you know, crazy town, die cutting, 80 billion triangles. Um, so anyhow, that's all I got. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you next time and stay crafty.